help you welcome to the stage, Sophia Tamarkin. So I have um, decided to expose the biggest conspiracy on the planet Earth, and that is that parents of all cultural backgrounds, religious affiliations, age, from the beginning of time, have absolutely no idea what they're doing. <laughs> so, in order to cover up for that inadequacy, we have to be overly confident. So when we make mistakes, we have to shake our heads and pretend that it meant to happen this way, because, and then we come up with some very good explanation. I'll explain. When I had my children, I um, decided to bake a um, strawberry shortcake. In the middle of that, I realized I have no strawberries, so I substituted with what I did have, and that was grapefruit. <laughs> so when the kids threw up from the cake, I said that this was a vitamin C cake, and it meant to boost your immunity. And because you threw up, it meant that it worked. and send the wrong kid in pajamas. <laughs> After that day, um, a long day, um, I explained that this was a lesson that it was okay to be different and you don't always have to be like everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> or better yet, when I showed my two-year-old Phantom of the Opera movie and he couldn't sleep for about five years, <laughs> I explained that art requires sacrifice. <laughs> being afraid of chandeliers, <laughs> masks, um, music, <laughs> and many other things, is something that will help you overcome your inner darkness. You just have to say that with a lot of confidence. And when I broke a mercury thermometer that my grandmother brought from the Soviet Union, and the balls of mercury were rolling all throughout my bathroom floor. <laughs> and I had to call poison control. <laughs> and men with white hazmat suits ran into my house. I explained to my kids that I volunteered our house to prepare for potential global pandemic. <laughs> Like, Ellie, wake up, wake up. They're gonna leave without you. 